Hi there, and welcome to our 11th episode in our Pharmacy Calculations Practice Series. Okay, now this question was posed on our Facebook study group, and it states that amoxicillin clavulanate 600 milligrams 42.9 milligrams per 5 milliliters is written for a six-year-old weighing 29 pounds. The directions indicate to give 90 milligrams per kilogram per day in two doses times 14 days. Then they pose two specific questions. First, what is the volume per dose that the child should receive? And second, how many milliliters of the drug is required to fill the prescription? Now, I wanna note a couple of things before we really get started here. First, amoxicillin clavulanate is actually two separate medications combined into the same product. Amoxicillin is an antibiotic. Clavulanate is a medication that inhibits an enzyme that some bacteria produce to inactivate that antibiotic. So when you see the strength expressed as 600 milligrams dash 42.9, that's how many milligrams of amoxicillin and how many milligrams of clavulanate there are respectively per five mLs of this suspension. So when you're looking at dosing, they're giving us dosing as 90 milligrams per kilogram per day. That 90 milligrams is just looking at the amoxicillin portion of this. So that's important to know. Another thing is that we're going to need to convert the child's weight because they give us the weight in pounds, but the dosing is expressed in kilograms. This is a very common calculation that you're going to see on the pharmacy technician certification exam. So make sure to know that conversion and you have to commit the memory that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Now we all know I'm a big fan of cross multiplication, but a really simple way to convert weight from pounds to kilograms is to simply take the weight in pounds, so 29 pounds, and divide it by 2.2. And that'll give us the weight in kilograms. 29 divided by 2.2 is 13, and we'll round this to the nearest tenth, so 13.2 pounds. So that's the weight that we're going to be dealing with. So first, to calculate the volume per dose that the child should receive, we need to figure out what the dose is in milligrams for the child per dose. And they're giving us a dose as milligrams per kilogram per day divided into two doses. So again, you have to be very careful with your units when you're looking at these exam questions. And to figure out how many total milligrams per day for this child, we can set up a proportion and we wanna know how many milligrams per day if the child is, oh, I'm sorry, I wrote this as kilograms up here. This is 13.2 pounds, apologies there. So how many milligrams per 13.2 kilograms is equivalent to 90 milligrams per one kilogram? So again, when we set up a proportion, we always put what we're solving for in the numerator on the right. We put our known ratio here on the left, keeping the units in the same position. So to solve that, it's simply 90 divided by one times 13.2. That last part's your cross multiplication. The units cancel out when you do it this way. And we just simply would have 90 times 13.2, which you could have done as a shortcut. So that's equivalent to 1,000 188 milligrams and remember that's per day but we have two doses so we can divide that by two and that's going to give us the total milligrams per dose so that divided by two is 594 milligrams per dose now the question is asking us what's the volume that the child should receive so we have another conversion to make and again, we'll set up a proportion and we need to know the volume in milliliters. So X milliliters, how many milliliters are there in a 594 milligram dose? If our known ratio, and we can go back up to the beginning for this information. And again, we have to keep the units in the same spot. So our known ratio is 600 milligrams and we keep milligrams on the bottom to be consistent per five ml. And to solve this, we would take five divided by 600 times 594. 
and this is going to give us our dose in milliliters. So 5 divided by 600 times 594 is going to be equal to 4.95 milliliters. And at this dose, you could simply round that up to 5 milliliters. Now, the final question is, so we've answered this question here, number one. Number two, how many milliliters of the drug is required to fill the prescription? So if we know we're going to give a five milliliter dose, and we're giving that dose two times a day, times 14 days, our total volume is going to be five times two times 14, 140 milliliters. So that would be the solution to this question. If you have any questions whatsoever about this solution process or some comments or whatever, feel free to make a comment on the video on our YouTube page or reach out to us. And our contact information is going to be our Facebook page URL here. You can email us at info at pharmacytechscholar.com or you can simply find us on the web at our website pharmacytechscholar.com.